After degreasing the case, it still looked pretty dark and grungy, so I decided to take some acid-based Eagle One etching wheel cleaner and give the case a good scrub down. The Eagle One's active ingredient is hydrofluoric acid. In order to neutralize the acid after scrubbing the case, I took some distilled water, threw a tablespoon of baking soda into it to use it as a neutralizer. I also prepared a squirt bottle with just plain distilled water so I could use that to flush the water with baking soda mix off the case. I scrubbed the case pretty thoroughly with both a regular toothbrush and an electric toothbrush. It's really important to not let the Eagle One sit on bare cast aluminum for much more than 30 seconds or maybe a minute at the most. If you leave the acid-based wheel cleaner on the case too long, it'll give the aluminum a dull, dark gray finish. That's something you definitely don't want. After scrubbing on a small area for about a minute, I took my alkaline water, my pH 9 water, and I flushed down that area to neutralize the acid. I followed that up by a flush with just plain distilled water. After scrubbing the case with the Eagle One wheel cleaner, I still wasn't happy with the finish. The finish was darker than I would have liked and I wanted it to be brighter, more like fresh cast aluminum. I decided to follow up the Eagle One scrubbing with a pass through the blasting cabinet loaded with crushed walnut shells. Crushed walnut shells are a pretty mild media to use on cast aluminum and they won't change the surface or remove material like sand or glass beadwork. As you can see from these final photos, the case comes out looking pretty good like fresh cast aluminum. After thoroughly blowing off the case with a blow gun, I sprayed some silicone spray onto it to help keep it from oxidizing while it was sitting on the shelf. If I had this to do over again, I would probably try to skip the Eagle One acid etch treatment and just go right to the blasting cabinet and see if that was able to clean the case up enough.